Hey cutie, I see you cutie. You know you're a cutie. Hi cuties, welcome back to my channel. Mwah, mwah, mwah. So today is another week. Well, I'm recapping last week of what happened in beauty school. In my experience, just overall pursuing a nail technician career and it being new to me. So welcome back. How you doing, cutie? How, how's everything going? What's up? What's up? As for me, I'm chilling. I'm taking it easy. I'm learning what I need to learn. And most importantly, I'm practicing. I've been practicing like no one's business because this field is totally different. I kind of not played myself, but I played myself. Yeah, I played myself <laughs> trying to make myself become a nail technician. The only thing that's keeping me steady and going is the fact that I don't know how to do it. And when I don't know how to do something, I'm going to learn how to do it. That's the beauty of entering something. This has piqued my interest. I'm here learning the different acrylics, the different monomers. And I know I, I stated this in the last video, but you, what is your favorite monomer and acrylic to use? Please look in the description. Please write it in the description below. And if you haven't already, if you're new to this channel, this is where the cuties reside. We're here. I know you're a cutie. If you are a cutie, like and subscribe and please comment. Join the cutie crew because cuties be us. Cuties be us. And cuties do a lot of things. This is why I named it that channel. You're a cutie in your own way. And for me, this cutie loves to learn. I love to try new things, which is why I'm entering this field. And like I said before, oh my goodness, I'm practicing and practicing and practicing. The good thing about this experience is my classmates. My classmates, there's a variety of us in this school program. And the good thing is we're encouraging each other. We're motivating each other. So I'm making myself super vulnerable. Like I'll practice on a mannequin hand. Man, listen, my acrylics are not the best. And I still share the pictures of it. Like, look what I did. Only because I successfully did an acrylic application. Excuse me, I have a slight cold. And it doesn't look the bomb. It doesn't look professional, but I did it, right? <laughs> a for effort. Woo -hoo. <laughs> but I'm really, really trying. And that's what's like getting me to keep going and keep moving forward. And I'm just super grateful that I have the time and the patience to actually learn through failing. And it's not even that I'm failing. The fact that I'm learning how to do something new without being forced to. Does that make sense? So it's like, you know, when you were younger, you had to go to school. You had to do these things. You had to do this. You had to do that. In my adult age, I don't have to do anything. However, but I am. So me being in beauty school in this day and age, learning something that's totally new, it keeps me going. And it actually takes up a lot of my time because I can fill in my schedule with different aspects of learning how to, you know, become a better announcer. So a recap of this week for me, what I learned this week properly was how to set up a manicure table. I know that seems like, what? A table? Anybody can sit at a table, put a lock and it. No, but there's proper ways to do it. So when we see nail techs doing their videos and setting stuff up, these are the like minor details I didn't know about. And I like little small stuff like that to know so I could do it properly and, you know, within requirements of actually becoming an entrepreneur, pursuing my own salons and opening businesses. So for me, this is key. And it's one of the main reasons why I enter nail school. So for example, like a nail tech table, it has to be a certain size, a certain length, a certain dimension. I know as a customer going into a nail salon, I would just go in, say hi, sign up, you know, meet with the nail tech because we, we tend to have the same nail techs we go to because we like the way they do our nails. Regardless of how many people are there, we'll wait for that one nail tech we like, you know, so it's the normal stuff. However, when you go in and sit, 
you don't know that it has to be a certain size. There are certain products that should be on the table to make your manicure a full manicure process. Like one mandatory item that has to be on a manicure table is a lamp. Remember back in the day when you used to get your acrylic done, you would take your, your nails and put it under the lamp? Well, that's a certain lamp that can help cure quicker the acrylic. So, like, we didn't know these things. Well, I didn't know these things. Put down in the comments. Do you still put your, like, acrylic hand under the lamp in your nail salon you go to? Do you? If not, why? These are, like, the small details that I had to learn. So knowing like there's a certain size, there's a certain lamp that's needed. This helps me to remember how to properly prepare my table for when I'm starting to um, become an nail tech. Because this is, I'm, I, I'm new to this. <clears throat> I'm new to this and this is like, okay, this has to be done. This has to be done. And these details, they work for me. They work for me because I'll know how to approach it when I'm actually on my own and out of school and licensed and certified and able to open up and get these things done. So that was an interesting aspect, having a certain size. There's not a mandatory size. There's like required sizes and then there's other sizes that can go bigger and beyond. Um, so yeah, now tech school is going along well. I've been practicing my acrylic. I posted a video yesterday of me doing an acrylic application. And I call it acrylic application only because I'm not experienced in doing like the three ball method, the one ball method, the two ball. I haven't gotten up to that in my curriculum. So me in the videos I'm posting is me practicing on my own. Like I fill in my schedule, my daily schedule, with acrylic practice only because practice makes perfect i'm in school learning something totally new and being that this is a hands-on program i need to be hands-on and knowing that i have the time to be hands-on i make sure that i put in that effort because it takes a lot of effort um what else happened this week i had so many exams this past week Whew, aside from Aside from learning the different chapters of manicure, pedicure, and um, the equipment that goes along with it, I had like three or four exams and practicals, which, you know, it speaks volumes. Because not only do I have to be practical, I have to know the, um, the requirements, the rules, the regulations, and things like that of becoming a manicurist or a nail tech, doing pedicures, the whole, you know, nail tech skill set that's encapsulated under the title of nail technician you know so i wanted to give a few tips or some advice on how to kind of balance out your schedule with studying and with practicing so my number one tip here is if you're studying manicures one day right make sure what you're going over in class Everything you highlight after you study that day, you go back, revisit your notes, and write them down separately outside of the book. This way you can reinforce what you have learned verbally and may have written down from what the teacher had mentioned. So this note-taking tip will help you kind of restore the information in your memory from what you learned in class while with your classmates because too often we'll learn a subject we'll learn it at that very moment that very day and we'll close it and leave it off because we're so tired or we had a long day but if you go back to your notes the same day like shortly after rewrite just what you highlighted you'll have an, a better opportunity to kind of like memorize it because um there's a, a research has been done i'm not sure what article or anything that if you write what you've highlighted it kind of like writing helps the brain the like the pin to brain memory it kind of sticks in there um a second tip is the same thing you learn that day since this is like an l technician program and we have to be hands-on whatever we learned in theory what was written down what notes we took Practice it. Practice that very same information you learn. So, for example, learning how to set up a manicure table, making sure you put on gloves and sanitize, and then you use the products to put on the table in a certain way. We wrote all those notes down 
practice it one more time the same day just so you can get comfortable and in a groove because once you learn what's on paper and what you memorize put it into practice i think that's what works best for me and i enjoy it i'm not perfect at it however i'm putting in the effort and the practice to make sure i walk away with the connection of what's in the book to what has to be done practically so it sticks in my mind and in my memory from when i'm recalling what i learned and what i'm practicing on my own that helps me so a third tip Take pictures after you practice what you've done and being that we're going to be like hands on and sitting with people and we have to see things a certain way. Take a picture of it. I mean, I know that's what helped me because I've done it so many times. Not so many, but enough times to where I'm like, am I going to really remember this? So, for example, I would set up my table and then I'll take a picture of it. So when I have to go back and be like, what was left on the table? What wasn't there? Oh my goodness, I can't remember. And then I'll look at the picture and be like, okay, this is what was left on the table. Or I'll go back to um, speaking with my classmates. Like, what was the last few things that we had to leave off the table? Leave on the table so we can move forward with our next um, part of the exam. So these are the few tips that work for me. So one, take notes after what you learned in class that day. Two, practice. Practice what you actually read and went over soon as you finish your note taking. Or if you don't want to practice that whole time, just take mental notes of what was used. So if you know you have five items that have to be on the table, make sure you can visually point out what those items are. So that if you can't physically practice, you mentally practice. You can recall and just point to it. And lastly, take pictures, take photos. Those help you to kind of remember what it looks like. So you'll practice, practice, practice. But if you can't recall like the next few weeks or months down the line after you learn that chapter, you can recall your photos that you use. So these three tips help me get through a week of studying doing practicals and exams so it was it's a lot of information because it's new to me and it's a totally different field i'm in so knowing that much i do practice which i like hands-on stuff because if i just sat there doing reading and just reading and doing more reading i'm like this i can't do this but knowing i have the opportunity to practice some stuff and get it on is very helpful so yes, cuties, those are my few tips for learning and remembering what you are doing um, Well, if you're studying something new. So these tips should help you if you're pursuing a new career path or in entering a new field. This can also work for your job while you're on the job. So um, if it's applicable, use it. So yes, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm going to hopefully post on Sunday and Mondays or maybe throughout the week. I'm getting a little better at this, so I'm getting accustomed to the process of posting and making sure I post. I'll continue to count my hours for nail application with acrylic, but I'll add more to it because I'm learning new stuff coming up this week. So woohoo, that's gonna work well. And um, drop your name in the comments. Are you entering a new field? Are you a current nail tech? Let me know about yourself and we could discuss some stuff in this video. Um, regardless of how you know many weeks is after that you post on here. So I'll always get back to it. But stay cute. You know you cute. I see you, cutie.